We're here at Synthfest, as you can tell by the background noise, and I'm here with Bill, and he's from Studio Fabrications, and he has fabricated this wonderful thing, which, although it looks like a guitar, is really some kind of ribbon controller device, which interfaces with a little box, which then lets you send MIDI to the noise-making device of your choice, or I believe it's also got CV and gate for the modular guys. That's correct, yeah. Okay, so what's the story behind this, Bill? I'm not a musician, uh, I'm a woodworker, okay. um, but I've, I dabble a bit with Eurorack and I bought the ribbon controller as t something to connect on my personal Eurorack system. And then being a woodworker, I thought we could take it one stage further. So we brought the synth controller out, which you've just been talking about, and this was an added bonus, really. Um, as I said, I'm not a musician, but it, you've got full control over any keyboard. It's going to be wireless operated. Uh, which means that a keyboard player traditionally is stuck behind a bank of keyboards mm. and if they do venture out they've got a huge keyboard hanging around their neck where this being wireless just gives them that option it's not going to replace a keyboard it's a performance instrument so we're quite pleased with it and the, the feedback we've been getting from uh, the show has been phenomenal fretless bass players absolutely love it because they can settle to it a lot quicker Guitar players keep going for the strings, so, but yeah, yeah, we are looking at doing a bigger version of this next year with the French people, EcoWare, I think they're called, something like that anyway. Um, yeah, we're actually case builders mainly. Yeah. But I notice also that the, the side markers are laid out uh, in, the, in the pattern of the black and white notes of a keyboard. Yeah. It's, not, uh, it's not set out like the frets of a guitar. It's, I purposely made it as much to be an instrument, a guitar-like, but obviously with the, st with the stuff that's taken away, you can obviously realise that there's no pickups and that sort of thing. Most guitar players tend to go like that, and then they go, something's not right here, it's not working. Uh, well, it's not meant for that. Um, I just, it's just f meant to be fun. We're pricing it at a really good competitive price. Mm because we are people that enjoy what we do. We're not business people, although unfortunately I have to make money. Yeah. So it can be set up to work chromatically via the little box that you have down here, yeah. or it can be set up to have a smooth glissando. You can, uh, obviously, anything that's MIDI triggerable will work with this, the same as CV and gate, you can control. It, although the, the actual, there's only about three octaves on there, mm. but you can, take it down to whatever octaves you wanted to so yeah. it's good fun it is so do you have uh, any any idea as to when you'll be shipping and what sort of price yeah um the system is going to cost 350 as it stands that's the body the uh euro uh, sorry the ribbon controller and the box is you're looking at 350 ish Mm. It's definitely not going to be above that. Mm. I'm hoping we might get it even lower. The bigger one that we're working on will probably end up at 450, but this one at the moment is sleeping. We're taking it to market in about six weeks. We was hoping that we could make today the launch date. We're just not ready. Okay, and that will be details on the Studio Fabrications website? Absolutely. There is no website at the moment because it goes live in about three weeks' time. Uh, there is a Facebook presence but as I said, there will be a website available. Okay, that sounds we're great. We're hoping to set it up as a kickstart project, but we're, we're not sure yet. No, that sounds like fun anyway. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. Take care. Bye. <laughs>